Leviticus chapter 25, verse 44, and it reads, Both thy bondmen and thy bondmaids, which thou shalt have, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall ye buy bondmen and bondmaids. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash, next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep their faith. Regards to people here for a bit, just laying back in all the video. Elder um, Apostle Gabar did, which he was laying back in pretty much all the video. Elder Apostle um, um, Tahar had did about um, you had one of um, vocab no class Malone, aka vocab Malone, Agent Riser, one of his flunkies, come on his video and said in the book of Genesis, he could prove that salvation, you know what I'm saying, is for all nations. And and like the elder said on that video, the elder apostle said, we would love to see the scripture in Genesis stating that salvation is for all nations. Because what I'm reading here, you know what I'm saying, see, Moses talking to the children of Israel. That these heathens are going to be bond men, slave men, and bond maids, meaning slave women. That it shall be of the heathen. So where is everyone can be saved and salvation for all nations? You, you, you just jump right over this scripture, right? You see, Leviticus, this, this is why these other nations were created. They was created to be servants for the children of Israel. And they're going to be that way. See, the only reason why we're on the bottom right about now is because of what we did. We, we went off, started work. We, we up under the curses right about now. But but when Lord Yahweh shall come, who do we call Jesus? And I'm saying he's going to take the curses off Israel. He's going to deliver the elect, that one third up into the chariots, destroy Babylon the Great, and the elite starting off with the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, the Oppenheimers, the Shukers, the not, 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 the Shukers, the Shukers and Groovers, things of that nature. They're going to be the first wave. They're going to be the first crop waves. You know what I'm saying? Well, however you want to slice it. You know what I'm saying of slaves. Let's get this again. Uh, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Um, that Gary Coleman spirit. What you talking about, Willis? What you, what you talking about, Willis? That's a spirit that I'm coming in. You see, Leviticus 26. Well, show us in the book of Genesis where these heathens can receive salvation. Tell us, man. You see, bring the scripture out. Don't don't just don't just say some. Prove it. The scripture say prove all things, right? Well, we're gonna prove according to the Bible, like we always been doing, that these heathens, their destination, their final destination, you see, is slavery, man. Leviticus 25, 44. Both thy bond men, slave men, and, and thy bond maids, slave women, which thou shalt have, which we shall own, which we shall possess, which thou shalt have own, shall be of the heathen. What, what part of that don't we understand? That, that knocks out salvation is for everybody. The Lord's coming back for everybody. This scripture alone kills that. So what you talking about, Willis, shall be of the heathen, non-Israelites that are round about you. Of them shall ye buy bondmen and bond maids, man. You see? And it's just one out of a minute. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Just, just, so, just some quick. Just some quick. Just, just bear, bear with me. I'm just, I'm just flow for a little bit. Then, then, then I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna wrap it up with what I wouldn't want to get in there because it's so many scriptures that we can get. Matter of fact, let's get this right here. Jeremiah the 30th chapter. Let's just get this. Just flowing right quick. You see, we would love for you, for you, um, you heathens out there, you non-Israelites. We would see you pull. We would love to see you uh, pull out a scripture in the book of Genesis stating that salvation is for all nations. Show us, man. Just show us, man. And don't bring out that that John um, three sixteen either. You see, Jeremiah chapter thirty. Just something quick. Jeremiah chapter thirty, verse sixteen, and it reads: Therefore. Uh, uh, therefore, all they that devour thee, he's talking to the Israelites now. Jeremiah was talking to the Israelites, right? Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. That don't sound like salvation for all nations to me. And all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. This don't sound like salvation for all nations to me. You see? The Lord is pretty much telling Jeremiah all these different nations that devoured you, that spoiled you, that took from you, that robbed you, they're going head first into captivity. 
And they that spoil, these shall be a spoil. Whatever they took from you, they're going to cough it up. This is according to the Bible. Old Testament, New Testament, Apocrypha. It's all one book, man. All right? And you're taking it out of context, brother. You're taking it out of context, brother. I'm, the scriptures script are plain as on no way. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And they that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. The Lord said he's going to give them for a prey. What, what part of that are we not getting? For I will restore health unto thee, unto the Israelites, and I will heal thee of thy wounds. Because we are a wounded people, right? Save the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion. Let you know this, talking about the Israelites. Like, not all nations are part of the sun, right? Saying, this is a, they call us an outcast. Pretty much they set up a system, and an outcast is pretty much a system set up for you not to be in. You see? Matter of fact, do, do we need to get do we need to get the definition? Let's get let's get the definition right quick. Let's get the definition right quick. Let's see outcast. Let's see, and not the group either. Not the group either. Let's see. Can I get it? Definition: The outcast. The meaning of outcast is one that is cast out or refused refused acceptance by as by society. This whole system was set up. You know what I'm saying to, to cast us out, to further oppress us. This system wasn't set up for us to make it. We're the outcast. All right. We're the outcasts of the earth right about now. The Hebrew is like the so-called Negro, starting off with the so-called Negro and a Latino and a Native American, right? We're the outcasts. We're Zion. With, with the people that have been wounded, right? For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, even, even though it don't look like it. To a natural man, to the carnal man, but to a spiritual man, is is thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible, got faith in the words. What would it say? Say the Lord because they, these heathens, because starting out with Sleazy E, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion. This is supposed to be the monument of the Lord. This is to Zion. This is supposed to be a monument of the Lord, whom no man seek out. Remember, they was glad. Matter of fact, let's just get that right quick. Let's go to Lamentation, because I'm right here anyway. Lamentation chapter one. I'm right here. Let's just bring this out right quick. I'm, I'm coming to the spirit of. um. Gary Coleman, what you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? We would love to see the scripture in Genesis stating that salvation is for all nations. Vocab Malone, do you hear me? And all your flunkies, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, look, everybody teaching with a hat over there, ain't it? When the scripture say a man shouldn't cover his head while he's teaching or prophesying or praying. I guess y'all jumped over that scripture too, right? You see, I guess y'all playing hopscotch now, right? This is um, Lamentations chapter 1. Just something quick. Lamentations chapter 1, verse 21. It reads, they have heard that I sigh. Meaning these heathen nations, they, there is none to comfort me. But all of a sudden, they want the scriptures to comfort them. They ain't, comfort, they ain't been comforting us. They glad we're in this predicament. What does it say? All my enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad that thou has done it. But now, say everybody can receive salvation. These heathens have been putting pure hell on us. But now, everybody can receive salvation, right? The, the scriptures don't work like that. Would it say they have heard of my trouble? They are glad that thou hast done it. Thou will bring the day that thou hast called, and they, meaning these heathen nations, right? And they shall be like unto me. Let all their wicked, they're gonna be catching prayer, but double though. They're gonna be just like us at double though. Let all their wickedness come before thee. Ain't no let bygones be bygones. The Lord remembers everything, right? Let all their wickedness come before thee and do unto them, meaning these heathen nations, do unto these heathen nations as thou hast done unto me for all my transgressions, for my sighs are many and my heart is faint. Let's keep going. I just want to keep going. And everybody got, no say, a YouTube page, they'll say, well, they just be spurring madness. Let's just get this, though. Deuteronomy 32. I just want to get this right quick. Something quick. About, about to wind it down. I just want to bring this out right quick. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Let's get this. Deuteronomy 32, 8. When the Most High divided the nations, he didn't bring all the nations together. He divided the nations. So what Sleazy is doing with this um, one world government, this um, NWO, that's off. The Lord didn't create all nations to be together. What happened again? Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the Most High Yahweh divided to the nations. He divided the nations, man. 
He divided the nations, their inheritance. When he separated the sons of Adam, he separated the sons of Adam. And you got this devil, sleazy E, this deceiver trying to bring all nations together when the Lord separated them. You see? Nimrod tried, tried it, you know what I'm saying, thousands of years ago. You see? Try to bring all nations together, you know what I'm saying, during the Tower of Babel. You know what I'm saying? What did the Lord do? He came down and confounded them, man. You see? Henceforth, what we got to this day, right? And here at this devil trying to bring everybody together, you know what I'm saying? One world, one world, one world. All this nonsense, when the Lord separated the sons of Adam, and he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Let's, 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 let's get some. I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet. Deuteronomy 32 and 9. For the Lord's portion, for Yahweh's portion is his people. His people, right? That's possessor right there. His people, Jacob. Not, not every Tom, Dick, Harry, Larry, Larry Curly, and more. But Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Jacob, man. All right? It says, Israel is the Lord's portion. Jacob is the Lord's portion, man. And I want to get another one. Well, look, what you talking about, Willis? Old Testament, New You're just in the New You just in the Old Testament, brother. Well, let's go to the New Testament then, all right? St. Matthew chapter 21. And remember, people, it's one book. It's all one book. You see? This is St. Matthew chapter 1. Verse 21. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow the scripture up so you can see it. I can't see it, brother. I didn't have my glasses on. Look, look, I blew it up for you then. St. Matthew 1 and 21. Because I'm coming in the spirit of Gary Coleman. I'm on that, what you talking about, Willis? Um, um, you know, that's how, that's how I'm coming right now. St. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Because once again, like Elder Apostle Gabar, don't say name his video. Land, and he was laying back off Elder Apostle to heart. We would love to see the scripture. Talking to you, Vocab Malone, Agent Riser, you and your um, band of misfits. We would love to see the scripture. Scripture in Genesis stating that salvation is for all nations, right? We would, we would love to see it. St. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, and it reads, And she married, you know what I'm saying? The Lord's mother, right? And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahawashai, who the ignorant call Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. He shall save his people, not the whole world, but his people from their sins. What part of this are we not getting? What, what part of this are we not getting, right? Is, is, there, is there Romans the ninth chapter too? No, it's Romans the um, fifth chapter, right? No, Acts. Acts. Let's get Acts 5 right quick. I mean, I can go to Romans 2 if I want to. I'm just, I'm just I'm, uh, they, they call it a hot scotch, but, but the scriptures call it line upon line, line upon line. Precept upon precept, here a little and there a little. That's what the scriptures call it. Acts chapter 5. Let's go here. Acts chapter 5, verse. Let's see. Acts chapter 5. What you talking about, Willis? Acts chapter 5, verse 29. And it reads that Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the heavenly father rather than men. The power of our fathers raised up Yahawashai, whom you slew and hanged on a tree. Him have the heavenly father exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, a savior, right? You saw, they're talking about salvation, right? Well, here, 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 here. This, is the, this is salvation right here. This is the savior, right? To be a prince and a savior, to, to give repentance to Israel, 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 and forgiveness of sin. And if you can't get this, I don't know what to tell you there, man. You see? I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. We would love to see the scripture in Genesis stating that salvation is for all nations. We want to see it. Bring it out, man. So all you got to do, just bring it out. Him have the heavenly father, him have the, let me, let me slow down. Him have the heavenly father exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. Because I'm so excited to bring these scriptures out. And for to give repentance to Israel, a people before us a place. And forgiveness of sins. So who can be forgiven for their sins? The Israelites. Who was given the law anyway? Who was given Leviticus 26, 46? The law, statutes, commandments of the Bible were only given to the children of Israel. So how the hell you, you keep throwing these heathens in there? So, so all we want to know, how the hell you keep throwing these heathens in there, man? The heathens are liking it to spittle, man. And I mean, and I can keep going on, going on, going on, going on to the break of dawn. But look, it really ain't no need. Just want to bring out a couple of scriptures. It really ain't no need, man. For real, for real. I got two more scriptures, and then I'm going to wrap it up. 
Let's get this. Romans chapter 10, verse 1, because um, in that video um, that Vocab Malone was in, one of his um, flunkies, you know what I'm saying, was, was saying something about the Apostle Paul. Well, here goes the Apostle Paul speaking right here. Romans the 10th chapter, verse 1. Brethren, my heart's blood, love my brothers. My heart, meaning my mind's desire and prayer to the Heavenly Father is for Israel. For Israel, man, not the whole world. It's for, it, look, let me read it again. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, for Israel is that they might be saved. Not the whole world, that they might be saved. Not every, not every nation upon the sun, not every Tom, Dick, Harry, Larry, Curly, Mo, Teresa, LaQuisha, Aisha, Denisha, Federica, all that, man. You see, it's for Israel that they might be saved. I got one more. I'm just, I'm just jumping around. And brothers can put up um, second Ezra, the sixth chapter up there, 54, 55, 56, and I think 57. All right? And then the earth was created. And, I, and I'm going to get, matter of fact, I'm going to get that second Ezra, the seventh chapter, right after I get this. I want to get this though right quick. Let's get this. I got, two, I, got, I got one more scripture after this, and then I'm going to wrap it up. What you talking about, Willis? I'm coming in that Gary Coleman spirit right about now. What you talking about, Willis? Isaiah chapter 45. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17, and it reads, But Israel, a people before the place which represents the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and then you got the Israelite foreigners that's been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. You read St. Matthew, the 24th chapter, uh, down at the bottom, I think it's starting at verse 30, the Lord says he's going to come and deliver the elect. You read St. Luke, the, um, the 18th chapter, it said the same thing. The Lord's coming together, the elect of Israel, all right? Not the whole world. These heathens are going here first in the captivity. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Not all nations, man. We would love to see the scripture in Genesis stating that salvation is for all nations. Pull it out. Pro prove all things, right? Prove all things. Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, with an everlasting salvation, man. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. So that John 3 16, this is the world that it's talking about. The world of Israel. You ain't getting around it. And I, I got one more. I got one more. Then I'm going to wrap it up, man. Point, point been proven already. What you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? The second address chapter seven. Come on. Second address chapter seven. Um, we started 10. And 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 I said, It is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. Did we just read about that? Because for their sakes, look, 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 subject matter, Israel, because of their sake, sakes, the Israelites, I made the world. So this earth was created for the Israelites to rule over it. And you heed this to be subject. You know what I'm saying? You heed this to be slaves upon the children of Israel. What, what, part of, what part of this are we not getting? You see? It's, it's plain to us. The Lord made it plain for us to understand what part of what it say. Because for their sakes, the Israelites, I made the world. And when Adam transgressed my statues, then was declared that now is done. So we up under the curve. We've been catching hell since then. You see? We've been going through it since then. But now the, the Lord, no saying, slowly but surely, lifting up some of the curses off us and putting it on you heathens. But the curses are fully going to get lifted off of us. You know what I'm saying? When Lord Yahweh shall come. You see? And we get, and Lord willing, we be of that hopeful number to get delivered and beamed up out of Babylon and great. But, but once again, we would love to see the scripture in Genesis stating that salvation is for all nations. What you talking about, Willis? Shalom.